Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner. Welcome to your next tutorial on Ionic 2 and FireDash. Before we eventually advance to FireDash, we'll have to treat um, Ionic icons, then we treat forms, then we gradually advance. Alright, remember we created this folder for our project, Ionic project, and um, this is our folder structure. But then when you want to add some things like images and fonts and some extra files, I know this is your working folder, but um, when you want to add images and stuff, this is where you create your image folder. So this is where you create your image. As zoom in, we want to add images. And now that we want to add fonts, this is where we'll create the folder. All right, um, that's external fonts. But then Ionic 2 comes with something very interesting, which is um, it comes with fonts. So let's just go to Ionic Framework and um, we try and check out the fonts of ionic framework also we will try and uh, check out the fonts for other external sources for instance um, you have google material design fonts then you have font awesome which i particularly like and use but before then let us quickly uh, open our command prompt and run uh, ionic Open command prompt. OneNote.js command prompt or two command prompt. All right, so we have opened our command prompt. We need to find the folder to work with. Uh, we click on uh, folder and um, we copy the URL. Copy. <laughs> we copy the address, the location address. Then we say cd. Just to be sure we are in our working directory, which is change directory to working directory, we'll click enter. And right here we are, then we ionic serve lab. All right, and um, it does the usual uh, blah, blah, blah. And while it's opening, I want to show you what ionic icons are. So when we have opened our ionic page and then we've clicked on version two, and if you look at this right hand, left hand side, you will see Ionic Ion icons. Then you click on it. It opens an icon set. This is a list of icons you can um, find in um, Ionic. It's so much, it's so huge, so huge. There are over 1,000 of them, 1,000 icons. So basically, when you need something, you type for it here. Here is where you search for it. But this is not exhaustive, okay? Um, for instance, we need a Skype logo. We we'll find a Skype logo. We need a Facebook logo, and so on and so forth. We need edit, the trash. So this way, then you click on one of them. As you can see, it's divided into iOS, iOS outline, and Material Design. But then there is a general one, so we'll click on. Uh, the trash icon then we have the general one if you put this it will work for both of them but then if you want to be platform specific you have to um, either mention that it is ios or um, android android is material design which is md all right and then um, how do we add it to our uh, our project to add it to our project we we'll open the particular page we want we have um, run ionic serve and uh, this is our login page, you remember from the last tutorial. And what we're going to do right now is to open this page in our project and uh, add an icon here. So you see how to add an icon. So what we have is we open our project, uh, go to our working directory, go to pages, look for login. And I will look, open login.html with our editor. I'm using Code Lobster PHP edition. You might be using sublime text so i'm opening code lobster php edition and um, when it opens um what you do is this is where we want to add the icon this is the login this is the header this is the login and then when we want to add the icon this is where we want to add the icon what we will do is to get back to our ionic page and uh, click on the icon we want to add Let's just use someone's icon. Since we can't find an icon for login, 
there is no icon for login and we can't find an icon for register we can find an icon for sign in okay there is one for sign in all right so we click on it and uh, we copy this oh. we copy get back to our project and we paste so we have an icon here remember it is ion icon name this is the name of the icon so the the rest of the icons follow this format the only thing that will be changing is the name so for instance if we wanted to add a skype icon i will search for skype and we get skype um, as you can see it's ion icon the name you have the name here so the only thing that changed is the name all right so we have it that icon and we save we refresh it now it refreshes itself so as you can see it's already reloading itself and there we have it our icon so this is the icon that comes with Ion, uh, ionic but we can add external icons let me just add one of the free icon sets out there it's called font awesome I use this in many of my projects and it's just amazing you can add material design if you want to add any icon you just go to their site hijack their SDK and add to your project so to do this we visit fontawesome.com and we click download and um, all the stories in the world then you click this last one no thanks just download the font awesome so it's just about 587 kilobytes uh, it's quite small to add to your project half of a megabyte all right compared to the uh, immense benefits so we just click on this then we click on show in folder then we hijack the folder then we copy then we return to our working directory the folder we're working with our project so this is our project in fire blogger then we get back to we go to our ww folder and paste here paste all right so we need to extract this we extract extract files here and then we delete this guy then we rename this guy to fonts you can name it anything you want i just want to name mine fonts you can name it font awesome or anything like seriously excuse me let me find what is wrong um obviously windows thinks that this that there is a file inside here that i've opened somewhere uh, which obviously is not true but I'm, i don't have time for the gimmicks what we'll do is let's just uh, alternatively copy this create a new folder and call it fonts fonts uh, then we paste the contents inside here and uh, when i restart my system i can delete this so you can delete this if this works for you the deletion works for you so we have fonts this is just what i want to work with then i open this and uh, in my text editor so we need to in add the X SDK of um, font awesome so if you go to font awesome and click on get started and um, scroll down a little bit you'll see how to add font awesome to your project so we copy this and we get back to our, our project in the head section of our index.html file in the head section we add uh, the css stash but then we have to um, mention that we are linking to these fonts okay so in the same folder where you find index.html you will find a folder called fonts inside that folder you find the css and then you find this file that's what this linking means and then we're done we already have uh, a font awesome in our project so let's try and add a login icon for font awesome so what we have to do is visit fontawesome.com and search so we have icons we click on icons it opens then we search it has a much much larger icon set believe me so much so much so much so much all right so what we'll do is we add an icon let's just say that we're looking for login we have it here but let me just use something different let's say we're looking for signing up 
okay so we use sign up and here is how they add their own icon you just copy this and paste it and all of a sudden you have your sign up we'll get back to our project in the login folder login.html and uh, we delete this and we add our new icon I just want to make this capital letter for, for no reason so we just add our new icon and we go to our browser and wait for Ionic to refresh as you can see we now have this icon all right that's how to uh, add icons to your project in Ionic 2 and it's, as you can see it's so simple and easy there is a whole lot of icon um, default icon sets that comes with Ionic 2 and then you can add your own external icon set so thank you very much don't forget to visit my you my youtube channel and subscribe it is youtube.com slash c slash brainten.org and um, don't forget to share this video so that your friends can watch it too so when you visit the url you just pan over to the right and click on subscribe which means when next i make a video you'll get the alert on your phone so thank you very much see you in the next video tutorial